Hey guys, welcome to Wild Sides. Today we'll be learning how to make a Mountain Dew cake. Let's get right to it. Before we start cooking, let's go over the ingredients. So the most important one is Mountain Dew, of course. You need some butter, pineapple slices, and some yellow cake mix. So the first step is to line your Dutch oven with tin foil. And now the second step is to take pineapple and line the whole entire bottom and sides if you want with pineapple slices. Try to keep them whole. Our next step is to take our yellow cake mix and pour it all around. Make sure you cover all of the pineapple. <clears throat> yes! Jack one, cake mix zero. So now you're going to pour it. Kind of drizzle it all over. So now you're just going to take a spoon and kind of flatten out the cake mix. Make sure all the pineapples are covered. All that. So now the third step fourth step is the best one, the Mountain Dew. So what we're going to do is, this is a 16.9 ounce bottle and we need 12 ounces. So we're going to slowly cover all of the cake mix. So what we're doing is, probably that would be 12 ounces right about that mark, so just keep pouring until you get to there. So we've poured 12 ounces. What should we do with the rest of it? I know. <sighs> a little carbonated, just a little. So now that we're done with that, we'll move on to the next step. Our final ingredient is one stick of butter. So you're going to take one stick of butter from the four stick pack of butter and you're going to slice it into tablespoons or whatever you want to do. Ooh, this is gooey. Just kind of slice it like that. Place it around. Oh yes. So gooey. Okay, when doing these steps, you don't really ever use the spoon. Never stir it. It's a dump cake. You literally just dump it all in. So now that I've gotten that clear, we are going to take our lid and put it on top and put it to the coals. Like this. Make sure it is on there all the way, no gaps or anything like that. We will take it over here. Okay, so as you can see, there are seven coals. And what we want is we want seven coals on the bottom. And now we want 16 coals on top. So. That looks like about 16. Okay, now that we've done that, you will take your thingy, whatever, uh, shovel, and you'll kind of move it around to where it cooks evenly. One thing I would suggest is having a glove while doing so because my hand is quite on fire. So 
So we are now going to leave this for 35 to 45 minutes. We'll come back in that amount of time. So it has been 45 minutes and we are just now getting our cake off. So I'm going to take it over here, trying to keep it straight, and then plop it down right there. And now for the grand reveal. That looks pretty good. Hot. Rock die. Get a little more. So I've scooped my Mountain Dew cake into my bowl and I let it sat for about four minutes so I don't burn my mouth like the chicken and dumpling video, which if you have not seen, you should check out. It's the best chicken and dumplings ever. Okay, so it smells really good. It smells like pineapple, yellow cake mix, butter, and then Mountain Dew. So it smells really good, not to mention the tin foil. So I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's not really, really hot. Gotta get some mix. Pineapple, it'll come off. That, that, that works. You just get that whole thing. That is actually really, really, really good. I actually can't taste the Mountain Dew as much. But it has a little bit of Mountain Dew flavor. It's still really good. It's mostly yellow cake, but I like it. It could use a little more Mountain Dew. Speaking of which, What goes better with Mountain Dew cake than a Mountain Dew? Oh yeah, that's good. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a Mountain Dew cake. My name's Jack, be nimble, be quick, and I'll see you next time. So, I have let, I've scooped my, mm -hmm. what did I cook?